Hello friends, this is Anurag and in this video I am going to show you how to access your computer from anywhere in the internet without using third party softwares. So let's get started. So first of all go to your browser and type your router's default IP address. If you don't know, don't worry I will show you how to find it. Check your backside of your router you will find the router's IP address or you can find in your computer also open run and type cmd and hit enter it will show you the command prompt in command prompt type ipconfig and hit enter it will show you your computer's IP address and the default gateway the default gateway is your router's IP address go ahead and copy and paste in your browser and hit enter you will see the router's login page enter your username password of your router if you don't know try to login using default username and password if you want you can find detailed step by step guide of your router on this website known as portforward.com here click on list of all routers search and select the brand of your router you can see this page go to left corner and close that page and select model number of your router here you can find all the programs are supported of your router and select the remote desktop connection After selecting the remote desktop connection, you can see the step by step guide of your router. I am entering my username and password because I already changed it. After login successfully, you are required to change the necessary settings of your computer. First, change the IP address to dynamic to static and change, change the remote desktop setting disabled to enable. So, first thing change the IP address. So, to change the IP address, go to left corner and select the network adapter and right click on it and select open network sharing center. Then go to change adapter setting and choose the ethernet adapter and go to properties next go to ipv4 and select use the following ip address check your current system ip address and set it to as a manual i am setting my computer's ip address 192.168.0.2 and enter tab it will automatically set default subnet marks do not change the default subnet marks and press tab and select the default gateway. After entering the default gateway, next go to change DNS and enter the DNS server address. I am using Google DNS, you can use this also and after that hit OK. Next thing, allow the remote desktop connection, go to my computer and right click and go to properties. In the right corner, you can see the remote setting, click on that and select allow the remote desktop connection. I already done that and after that hit ok. So we are almost done. The last step is that forward the port of remote desktop through your router. To done that, go to your router's login page and find forwarding and click that tab in drop down menu and you will see the four options. Click first option virtual servers. 
if you are using different brand router i already show you a website that guide you so here enter the port number of remote desktop service the port number is 3389 so put in your in service port next is the internal port leave that thing blank because the internal and external ports are same so leave that next ip address put ip address of your desired computer i am entering my computer's ip address that is 192.168.0.2 next protocol leave blank next enable the status next common service port leave blank and hit save after saving setting go to this website can you see me.org and check the port we have just forwarded type that port here level 389 check port here you can see success i can see your service so we are done now after whenever you required your home pc in your office or vice versa you will only need your public internet address to find that go to google and search my public ip so as you can see public ip appears here so get that public ip and enter to that computer where you accessing this pc i am show you how to do that so i am at my friend's home to access my pc here go to start and find remote desktop and click to open here enter the public ip we are just find it on google and click to connect as you can see this screen appear enter the username password and click okay so as you can see here i am logging successfully if you go one step further you can create a domain name the advantage of the domain name is that you are not required to search a public ip whenever you log in remotely to your computer you just need to remember a domain name so to do that go to your router's login page and find ddns ddns means dynamic domain name service my router support 3 ddns service provider as you can see i go with no no ip if your router support this no ip you can use this also if your router does not support this no ip service provider you can use the service provider given by your router the steps of creating domain name are different in different service providers go to noip.com and sign up using your email and password so i am already done that i go to login and login using my email and password after creating your account successfully go to account setting go to dynamic dns and add a host name of your choice and click to add host name after creating the account go to your router go to ddns login login with your email and password and add a domain name you just created and save the settings so to check the settings i go to another computer open remote desktop here enter your domain name after seeing login page i enter my computer's username and password and hit okay so as you can see i log in successfully Thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video hit that like button if you dislike this video hit that dislike button and don't forget to subscribe my channel